Unbeaten specimens have no problems with rust and are not expected. Most of the attachments, including the hood, front fenders, and doors, are made of aluminum, while the steel is coated with zinc under a good layer of primer and paint. Power tailgate may fail after five to seven years. Spars are made of high strength steel. There may be problems with editing power elements after an accident. The drains of the sunroof and the drains of the engine shield niches are often clogged. The destruction of the sealant in the joints of aluminum mudguards with steel spars and motor shield is fraught with electrochemical corrosion. Restyled vehicles from the first two years of production may not have adaptive LED headlights that are working on their own. The problem is solved by updating the ECU program. Plastic headlight covers often crack. Atmospheric six-cylinder engines 2.5 and 3.0 of the N52 series of 2004 with conventional distributed injection found on early versions of the fives are not very successful and they are very demanding on the quality of the oil. First of all, generating floating revolutions, the systems for changing the valve timing of Vanos and the stroke of valvatronic valves suffer. In addition, the valvetronic electric motor often dies from the graphite dust of its own brushes before reaching 150,000 kilometers. Oil scraper piston rings sometimes strive to lie on a run of only 100,000 kilometers and, with the support of dry valve seals, provoke an oil burn of up to a liter per thousand kilometers. Oil deposits clog the crankcase ventilation unit, which contributes to the penetration of oil into the intake manifold. The consequences are a fur coat of soot on the valves and in cold weather widespread squeezing of lubricant. On runs of about 80,000 kilometers, problems occur with the current vacuum pump after 150,000 kilometers of trouble, dampers in the DISA intake system can add, which over time tend to fall apart and fall into the cylinders. And in case of an unfortunate set of circumstances, they prevent the valves from closing and ensure that they meet with piston. The electric oil level sensor starts to fail over time, and since a dipstick is not provided on these motors, a glitch can lead to oil starvation and scuffing. And an unreliable electric pump, in case of failure, strives to boil the engine. The atmospheric 6s 2.5 and 3.0 of the N53 series avoided many of the shortcomings of the damp N52 predecessors. But they have more problems with the ignition system and direct injection which displaced valvatronic from the cylinder head design that did not fit there. Low quality fuel inevitably creates problems with high pressure fuel pumps, which already often fail after 100,000 kilometers. And piezoelectric injectors that can pour fuel into cylinders up to water hammer. The supercharged 3.0 engine of the N55 series is the most forced of the six cylinders. Demanding on fuel quality, which is why the resource of the injectors and the high pressure fuel pump is small, just like on the atmospheric relative N53. Oil favors only high quality, otherwise scuffing on the necks of the camshafts and coking of hydraulic lifters are possible. The crankcase ventilation membrane is as short-lived as on the M52. The eight-cylinder shaped 4.4 N63 series is the oldest in the family of engines, but the reliability is not as impressive as the power. In addition to the problems inherent in other engines, new ones appeared, mainly related to the unsuccessful location of the turbochargers and the collapse of the cylinder block. Due to being in close proximity to the exhaust manifold, the turbine lubrication lines coke, and their bearings may need to be replaced already at 100,000 kilometers wiring cracks, coolant lines, pressure reducing valves, and even the plastic of the intake manifold can become unusable. A loose coating of an aluminum cylinder block suffers from low quality fuel, oil consumption is provided. And due to the loosening of the threaded connections, the cylinder head may not fit snugly against the surface of the block. The six cylinder turbo diesel 3.0 of the N57 series is the most reliable unit of the five. With quality care, it will serve faithfully for more than 300,000 kilometers. It is only necessary to service the EGR recirculation system and the particulate filter once every 120,000 kilometers and the EGR cooler can. Leak after 150 to 180,000 kilometers. 
The crankshaft damper lives 100,000 kilometers piezoelectric injectors and injection pumps are reliable. And the timing chain drive does not create problems up to at least 250,000 kilometers. Four cylinder turbo diesel 2.0 series N47, three times received the title of engine of the year, would be reliable if not for the Achilles heel, the timing chain drive. For cars older than 2011, the chain sometimes sagged after 50,000 kilometers and its replacement is complicated by the location on the side of the motor shield. Full access requires the dismantling of the engine. The rubber damper of the crankshaft pulley dries out by 100,000 kilometers, which leads to pulley separation in an unfortunate case with damage to the cooling system radiator. The modified diesel 2.0 of the B47 series, which appeared in 2014, does not have such problems with the timing chain drive. The 2.0 liter N20 series turbo 4, which debuted in 2011, finally put an end to naturally aspirated six-cylinder engines. The cylinder walls received a steel coating. The third-generation Valvatronic has become much less problematic. And the weak link is the chain drive of the oil pump, which wears out by 70 to 120,000 kilometers, making a characteristic sound from the engine compartment. And then it may break off, condemning the engine to oil starvation, you need to follow the oiler on the instrument panel. Otherwise, the crankshaft wedge and the repair of the cylinder head elements are provided. It is advisable to change the timing chain every 100,000 kilometers injectors on average last 50, 80,000 kilometers and chip tuning crankshaft liners can be destroyed in 100, 120,000 kilometers. Automatic ZF6 HP. Most pre-styling cars are equipped with a six speed automatic ZF6 HP series. It is usually ruined by overheating and a large amount of friction where products in the oil without updating the working fluid every 50, 60,000 kilometers. Serious repairs may be required after 150,000 kilometers. After 120,000 kilometers, you need to monitor oil leaks through the junction of the plastic pan and the seal of the wiring harness and pump. Automatic ZF8 HP. After restyling, the 8-speed ZF8 HP became the main machine. It is just as sensitive to cleanliness and oil level. The remaining plastic pan continues to warp and leak. The new gasket does not save, and replacing the pallet is justified only with a branded one or its direct analog from ZF. Other substitutes do not last long. Early copies of the ZF8 HP box had an unsuccessful design of the retaining rings of the satellite gear axles. They damaged the aluminum case until it failed. At risk are pre-styling versions on which an 8-speed was installed as an option. In general, the ZF8 HP automatic machine is more durable than the previous 6-speed and, with proper maintenance, is able to hold out at least a quarter of a million kilometers until overhaul. A mechanical six-speed gearbox is rare, breaks even less often. The main thing is that after 140, 170 kilometers, do not delay replacing a worn and slipping clutch. The weak point of the X-Drive all-wheel drive system is the connection servo in the transfer case, which, as a rule, fails in the interval from 120 to 180,000 kilometers, but you can save a lot by replacing worn plastic gears in the drive. In the transfer case every 70 to 80,000 kilometers, you need to change the oil. Otherwise, there is a risk of bearing failure after 120 to 140,000 kilometers, although for this procedure the transfer case has to be removed from the car, there are no holes for draining the oil in it. The front gearbox seals can leak after 120,000 kilometers, while the rear ones do not lose their tightness one and a half times longer. The rear card and clutch often wears out after 120 to 170,000 kilometers if the silent block of the rear gearbox mounting fails after 100 to 150,000 kilometers. Do not risk changing it without a special branded puller, otherwise the aluminum beam will be damaged up to cracks. Front double wishbone layout with different designs of lower arms for rear wheel drive and all wheel drive versions. In any version, the levers serve approximately the same at least 120,000 kilometers. 
Active stabilizers of the dynamic drive system are four times more expensive. It's good that they rarely fail. The chassis unified with the BMW 7 Series has an integral V multi-link rear suspension, the traditional weak link in which is the floating silent blocks of the upper transverse levers. Sometimes giving up before 100,000 kilometers, the remaining levers hold at least 150,000 kilometers. There is no alternative to branded electronically controlled shock absorbers with the EDC system. Optional rear air bellows for five doors can last 150 to 170,000 kilometers. Rack and pinion mechanism with electric booster rarely wears out before 130 to 150,000 kilometers. The main thing is that the EPS electronic control unit does not fail. Sometimes it can be returned to service by reprogramming. But if the components fail, you will have to buy a new rail. The steering mechanism with a conventional hydraulic booster is less problematic. The most expensive steering element is the optional IAS rear wheel steering system with actuator. Fortunately, she is alive. Noticeable abrasions to the leather braided rim and rubberized buttons on the steering wheel spokes indicate a mileage of at least 200,000 kilometers. The pictograms on the climate control buttons may begin to wear off after six or seven years. Non-working seat heating the reason for a thorough bargaining when buying a car. To fix problems in switching phones via Bluetooth protocol with the NBT multimedia system on upgraded versions younger than 2013. Reprogramming the module is usually sufficient. The squeak of the front panel in cars older than 2013 at first can be eliminated by pulling loose bolts. Subsequently, the breathing panel wipes the damper coating at the points of attachment to the metal of the body under the windshield in this case. It will be necessary to dismantle the panel and glue the clamps. Waterproofing the perimeter of the door cards dry out over time and begins to let water into the cabin. You can fix the situation with a sealant. After five to seven years, it's not uncommon for any of the many power seats, steering column, and door hardware to fail. If you know of other breakdowns or malfunctions, then tell us about it in the comments. Your review can help others when choosing a used car.